Hey guys, what's up? It's the guys the gang. Now. Welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Anti-Birth. Last time we did a Magdalene run and we lost. Now we're going to attempt another Maggie run. Um, I don't know why. I, I would try someone else, but I only have Maggie and Isaac unlocked. And I don't want to do another Isaac run because we just did it. So why not just... Well, I mean, we could do a Lazarus run, but I don't... What? Um, is Lazarus... Lazarus just... What's Lazarus's gimmick? I'm, I'm gonna pick up Lazzy real quick. He gets an extra life. And range down. Alright, so... I guess we can do... A Lazarus run. So I went, I went off the rails. I promised another Maggie run, but eh, why not? We we have Lazarus unlocked. Might as well take advantage of it. And is that a hairball? Cold lodestone. Okay, magnetic tears. Um, so no shooting when a troll bomb's on the ground. Last time we left off, I was talking about the Nintendo Switch, and we're going to continue talking about the Nintendo Switch, because why not? I feel like when I die with Lazarus, I'm going to turn into Blue Baby, and I'm going to completely regret this run. Um, I don't know. I, no, I think that's going to be Ankh. But, um, I don't really feel like uh, the Nintendo Switch will have some sort of VR capability, maybe, but other than that, uh... I don't know. There were some other games that were announced. Like, uh, Fist Punch? I don't... It's like a boxing game, but you, like, when you extend your arms, like, you have, like, really stretchy arms in the game. Um, it's definitely a cool idea. I I'm all for it. I kinda. Like, I, I don't really have any real problems with the game it's just I, I don't think I'd play it that much I feel like if I wanted to play a boxing game I'd play punch out and I don't really play boxing games so yeah. there was talk of not on the, str uh, the stream that happened but there was talk of there being a attachment like a fight stick attachment for the switch and I'm all for that, but I hope that if it is a thing, that there is a Pokémon port coming to the Switch. And that's mostly just because I like Pokémon. I really don't want this to be like four one wasting for uh, wasting my life. Oh god. What? Oh no. Oh no. Well, I guess I'm gonna keep my promise. We're gonna go do a Magdalene run. <laughs> so, hey, two runs, one video. I guess. <laughs> uh, the Switch so far just doesn't have a selling point for me. Especially since a lot of the games that were coming out I think the only one really confirmed for launch is Breath of the Wild and I know a lot of the consoles today don't have great like release games anymore and it sucks it really does fucking why was it why 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 am I stupid Ooh. I just hope that there's something that I can do, that, like, will actually be fun on release. Super Mario Odyssey, I'm, I don't know how I really feel about it. Um, it seems like there's going to be complete, like, under, like, I forget what, undertone, maybe? Complete undertone of the game of hats? Um... No, I don't really know, but the whole rabbits and Bowser thing made me think that like maybe Bowser was a magician or something. 
until you started seeing like the marriage posters everywhere, which, by the way, last time that happened, a black hole almost appeared, so I don't think that's the smartest thing. Um, the fuck, I can't. I don't want to waste my yum heart on this. And I didn't have to. Alright. Um. But Super Mario Odyssey is definitely a game I'm trying out. Um. The way it looks. Just. I'm going from looks here. I'm not saying anything people. Um. I feel like it might be taking like a collective thought approach to the Mario series in an open world fashion. So maybe like. Uh, if you mix Banjo-Kazooie with Super Mario 64, and I would be completely open and okay with that. Banjo and Kazooie is a game that I've never beaten, but every time I play is... Because it's like, a, like whenever I go back to Banjo and Kazooie, I feel like I always need to be refreshed on all the controls that aren't, like, using the trot ability. <laughs> so I always end up just restarting a whole new game. And it's fun. Um, but I also hope that the new, like, little buddy that you have, the hat, isn't going to be, like, a Navi or whatever. Or, or in, like, um, Zelda, where, or more of a fee, I guess, at this point. In Zelda, where they just constantly start nagging you about things you already know. I don't know why I felt like I needed to concentrate on that room. It was really not hard. And it also reminds me of the minions, which infuriates me. I don't like the minions, and I hate anything that reminds me of them. So I'm trying my hardest not to just tape the game automatically because the hat looks like a fucking minion. Um, the worlds definitely look unique and amazing. I was kind of concerned when I saw a cartoony Mario in a New York world with, like, real people. We always made a joke like it was called, like, the game was going to be called, like, um, Mario, uh, Mario Adventure 2 X, uh, XD, like, Director's Cut or whatever. I'm sorry, DX Director's Cut. Um... Because it looked like Sonic Adventure 2. Like, it was just funny. But then they started showing like all these worlds and stuff, and then even like uh, how the city was called like New Kong City, and all the streets and names and their stores like named after Dixie and Diddy and all the all the DK original crew, the OK, the OG crew, you know. Twenty twenty double shot. I'm okay with that. Um, there's also like signs with Randy and stuff on it. Um, our friend Ryan pointed this out that uh, a lot of the move, they there is a lot of moves that Mario does that resemble Sonic a lot. Which I forget. one of the things I was disappointed about, and I don't know why I would expect them. To well, I guess because they kind of talked about Sonic Mania, but I was hoping after they talked about Sonic Mania that there would have been like a little nod to Project Ge or like Project Sonic, whatever they're calling it. I I've, I've been calling it Sonic Gen Two, even though I know it's not a sequel to Sonic Generation and it is not Sonic Generations. I've just been calling it Project Sonic Gen Two because I like Sonic Generations and. Uh, what is it, like, aside, aside from popular belief, or going against the popular opinion, I prefer the 3D Sonic games. I just like the feeling of going fast in, like, I think Sonic Unleashed had a good nail on the, the speed system. And I was honestly... 100% for... I, I was hyped for Sonic Boom, then it, you know, did a thing, and all that other jazz. Um, I did play some of the 2D Sonic games, like, I played Sonic Lost Worlds for a little bit. Um, if I think it was pulled off pro uh, properly, it would have been fun. 
Um, not that I didn't have fun playing it, it's just that I think it could have been executed well, um, better. The same goes for Sonic Boom, like if they executed it better, I feel like it would have- Where did that bomb come from? Was that me? I don't- I don't- <gasps> Yo, I remember this item. I remember, um, one time I was playing in school and I got the Black Lotus. Oh my god. I- I've got the- I've picked this item up before, um... Sorry to go off track, but I just need to. Like, like I've said before that we used to play um, Isaac Runs in shop, and I remember, like, I, I think it was one of the, I, I don't know what, if it was, like, something I randomly found, but um, we were just doing random runs in general. Like, we weren't doing the same thing. We were just seeing how fast we can get to mom what we, to, uh, with what we were given. And I randomly got the Black Lotus, and it was amazing. Um, but, yeah, uh, back to whatever I was talking about. Which I don't think is a good sign that I can't even remember what I was just talking about. Um, oh, the, uh, I really was, like, I am kind of hyped. <laughs> Five health up on the, what, the second floor? the fuck? Oh, no. No. I did a thing. I did a thing again. Hold on. Hold on. I need to fix this. Alright, I'm back. So, if you're wondering what just happened... Oh, god. I did it again. Oh, I did a thing, a thing again. So, I keep doing this thing where I accidentally press full screen. Um, and then it ruins the game. Uh, fuck, I feel like I'm gonna have to go to export for the rest of this game now. But export can't record this. God damn it. Well, actually, I think. Hold on. Oh, I feel like the rest of the floor I'm gonna have to play with lag. Oh no, like, did I just fuck up my runs just because I... No... So I keep doing this thing where I accidentally press F. And it constantly puts the game... It puts the game into full screen. Which I don't know if that ruins the game or not. Oh, well, not ruins the game, but ruins the... I don't know if putting the game in full screen actually ruins, like, what's displayed. So I feel like after this I'm gonna have to restart not only the game, but the recording as well. Well, not the recording, but the software. Hopefully it's not too bad. So I'm going to go hide in this room. I'm gonna exit. I'm gonna see if I can fix this problem. So I'm gonna be right back. Alright. I'm um, resetting the recording. Or not resetting the recording. Resetting the recording software seems to have fixed it by itself. So I'm gonna make sure. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna. Um, can I. I need to do this real quick. I don't feel safe. Um, controls, keyboard, full screen will no longer be F. It will be P. Pause. Oh. I don't know. I, use, I just press escape for pause, so I don't know why that's a thing. But let's get back to our run. Sorry for that, guys. Um, uh, but I think I was talking about 3D Sonic games and how I prefer them. If you're wondering why I use that, it's because I want to see if I can at least try to go into the boss room with full hearts. But yes, Sonic Mania is definitely a game I'm looking forward. To. I'm looking forward to. It's probably the only second gen Sonic or for <laughs> second gen 2D Sonic game that I've actually like wanted to play, other than Sonic 3. Uh, Sonic 3 is my favorite out of the 2D Sonic games, not counting Sonic Generations. Or Sonic Generations and the 3DS, which was just all 2D, which is fucking stupid. Um, I think I hate that the most about Sonic is when 
they make a Sonic when they make a Sonic game on consoles and on uh, like handheld, and this supposed to be the exact same game, but for some re for whatever reason, the handheld version of the game is always this 2.5D side scrolling crap. Uh, I think the only time they went against this was in Sonic Lost Worlds, and if they, I feel like if they managed the software a little bit better, the game would have ran perfectly, but whatever, it came out the way it did, and other than the frame drops, I heard it wasn't overall a bad game, like, I heard it was actually pretty good, so I'm not, like, oh god, oh god, oh god. I think Chubb can go bomb, right? And then just immediately explode. This is the last one I'm trying. Flies are really helpful in this game. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. Seven. So we got the Black Lotus, which is f wait no. We got the Dog Treat, which is one health up. The Black Lotus, which is three health up. The Lard, which is two health up, and the Heart, which is one health up. And we already started with one, so <laughs> we have nine health already, and we're not even that far into the game. Uh, I do. I am a fan of. Uh, large health runs because it is forgiving. At the same time, I feel like it, I, I just hope that it doesn't make me like I don't know why I did that. Um Uh, let's see, what other games were announced? I think I, I talked about like all the major ones. Um, Skyrim is coming to the Wii, or the Switch, which... Like, I don't understand why they tried making it, uh, us believe that, like, they showed something just to show it. Like, not like... They tried playing stupid with the audience, like, oh, we... We were just trying to show the capabilities of the, the Switch. We weren't actually going to release Skyrim on it. Like, no. Just stop. Like, I, I already knew Skyrim was going to be on it. And I hope that, you know, it's extremely unlikely that mod support is supported. Because that... Like, is one of the selling points now of buying Skyrim on console along with Fallout and everything, is that they have mod support. Um, I also like the idea of being able to take Skyrim on the run. Because, uh, because of the whole, like, Oblivion on the PSP thing that was happening that was cancelled. Uh, like, the PSP wasn't too bad of a console, actually. I think that it was, it actually did pretty well for, you know... Uh, PlayStation's first, like, portable console. Almond milk? Do we want almond milk? Will that stack with double tiers? I hope so. It does, <laughs> holy crap. So this run's getting way out of hand. Uh, we have a lot of health. Um, let's make it full health, at that, uh, as a matter of fact. We have double almond tears. <laughs> um, so we need more attack. That's one thing. I don't care how fast our, uh, shot speed is. Because if we can't do damage with all these shots, what's the point of having them all? That's, that's at least how I look at it. Hey, maybe, maybe we'll get maybe maybe we'll get infamy or something. 
you know, one of those items that always seem to make a re reappearance the first two times. Or maybe Om um, Milk was that item for these runs. I don't know. I, I guess it's okay for like whittling down health. But I mean, I not I don't have the dodging skills to make the take full advantage of this without the damage. Um. Ooh. I don't think many other- I have- again, I haven't watched the Nintendo Treehouse, so I mean, I haven't really... I don't know if they released any other games that might be coming out for launch, so... I could be stepping on foot here, but... So far, the Switch doesn't really seem like worth buying right now. Um... I know, right, right off the bat, after the thing was finished, Lord Chuckleton immediately pre-ordered fucking... Uh, the Breath of the Wild and the Switch, and then immediately after sort of regretted it because of the, like, enhanced edition or whatever. But... Uh, I, I think I'll stick with my Wii U for a bit, because I do have the homebrew channel on that and be able to play more games with it. Like, I also hope that at some point they confirm GameCube backwards compatibility. Uh, one of the, oh, one of the things that was released uh, about was one of the leaks said that there would be a Mario and Rayman RPG game released, and I don't know if this is like a thing because again I haven't watched the Nintendo like Switch Treehouse, but I really don't understand how that would work, and I think it'd be pushing it a little, just just because it's like a weird series. And Really, is that placenta? Are we really getting fucking regeneration along with another HP up? Oh boy, this is getting way out of hand way too quick. And I'm gonna try to see if I can sit more comfortably. Holy fuck, I'm high uncomfortable right now. Hold on a second. Alright, let's see. I feel like this is a bit better. Um, so let's go down. Man, I really miss an actual PC setup. Not gonna lie, I hate having to sit on my bed every time I want to record. It just makes me want to just sleep. Oh shit, no. I'll take this. Um. Oh, fuck. Nope, but it goes to simple. Um, no, I don't really see how a RPG with Mario and the Rabbids would really work. Because the Rabbids are kind of like a PG, uh, de like Deadpool kind of. They're all about like sort of like a weird raunchy humor and then breaking the fourth wall. And, you know... They just kind of overall are just meh characters, at least in my opinion. Like, I enjoy the Rayman Raving Rabbit games and stuff like that, but at the same time, like, they basically at some point turned into minions where they are just everywhere and no matter what, they, they were just thrown at your face like they even got a Nickelodeon TV show. And I was not really a fan of that. Because the TV show is basically, let's just watch rabbits scream at people for no reason for half an hour. I also really hope that at some point they, conf like, I don't care if it's on the Switch or like maybe way into the future. I want a remake of The World Ends With You or maybe a sequel. Um, because after... After uh, Dream Drop Distance, they uh, like the end of the ones like world that they're in. They made it really sound like there was going to be more of the world ends with you, and I was kind of disappointed when it just kind of went nowhere. Because I was one of those people where it's like I never knew about the game until I bought it and played it, and 
when I did, I was so surprised that the game was so unheard of, or not unheard of, but like, un not pop. I was gonna say unpopular. It's not unpopular. It's just it's kind of like Earthbound in the United States, where it's like we played it, but not. It wasn't really advertised or like whatever, so we really didn't pay attention to it. Kind of thing, like. It's a great game, it has a great story, and the game's not long, but like, it's a great story with a great idea, and honestly I would not mind if it was a TV show or a book or inst like instead. Like, how I would definitely pay for like, I would definitely f fish out top dollar for a Crunchyroll fucking membership if it had a wor uh, The World Ends With You uh, anime on there. Like, it's cool, it's a great idea for a great show, and or a great idea for a ga uh, game, like, make a show, and I'm- Oh, I don't have enough to use the heart. Durr. Oh. Um, it probably won't ever happen. I think that's really much- pretty much it for the Switch. Um. There was also a lot of talk, uh, for rumors about- there being a Pokemon game for the Switch, and I don't know, maybe? I can definitely see why people would think it's possible. I don't know why I'm so focused on getting down there. Or get, not getting down, I'm try, not focused on getting down there, I'm more focused on getting, trying to get all the bombs. So we still haven't come across the item room, and I think this is the bombs floor. Um, and I tend to when I get a good run not have problems with mom but more have problems with mom's womb but ew that, that's nasty why why did they why did they have to like make a level based off mom's womb like, ew. Oh, I need a heart Sagittarius? Aries ramming speed. At least we have Placenta helping us out. Why is there a fresh Placenta in the basement? So I'm looking- fuck you. This guy? Really? They had to bring us to this guy? Alright, fly, do your thing. Fly. Yeah. I was really hoping for a bunch of fly items after we picked that one up because the fly I really would have wouldn't have mind getting the fly like character or whatever. So also at the same time we are not doing too well with health right now. We are taking a lot of stupid damage and it's all my fault. Uh, damage and range up. I wouldn't complain about damage up. Uh, though with range, I think we were good. I should have explored the floor more so I could get. I think this is mom's. Yeah, depths too. I think this is the mom floor. And since we beat mom last time, um, the run won't end until we beat mom's womb or whatever. The f or mom two. So we were doing well until we took a lot of stupid damage. And I don't like these enemies. Also, I'm not putting those bombs down, so I don't know what the hell's happening. I have my bomb button put to E, but I'm not pressing E at all. So at least if we can keep getting rooms and keep charging up our uh, yum heart, I feel like we can get some stuff done. Also, you may have noticed I'm not really going for- oh, ooh, the arcade could be good too. Play the slot machine to get a bunch of hearts. Oh wait, it doesn't- Oh yeah, I thought this was like- Yeah. 
Wait, you could overcharge items? The hell? What happens if we fully overcharge it? Okay, it just gives us two uses of it. Um, well, I think that's good for now. Let's just blow that up. Need to get a battery or some eh, money. So money's, money's good. Um, let's blow this up because I ain't wasting the hearts I just got. It's fucking. Uh, yeah. That. That one. That one. Um, yeah. Fucking hell. Ooh. Good on bombs. At least give us like a fly or something. Well, not that kind of fly. Um, so, right now we have enough hearts to take on bomb. The problem is, I don't know if we want to try risking going to the item room. Well, of course we do, because it might be a uh, damage app. But I just don't know if, if it's... Because once we go into Mom's room, we can't come out. Like, even after we beat her. I'll take the bombs. Um, but I just mean, like, I'm, a I'm afraid of losing all the hearts that I just got. So it seems like if we just wait in a room for a bit, Placenta gives us all back. Right, so we're gonna leave this dude for a bit. Um, I feel like maybe we could come and win back a few hearts if we do lose any. Well, good thing we got bombs. I think uh, I was amazed when I found out that this dude actually ate bombs and took a crap load of damage. Like, when I found that out, I... Like, also, I would like to hide that menu for now. I, I know people like to, like, see what I have. Also, here's a seed. Remember, I'm playing Anti-Birth, not Rebirth. Alright. So we're doing good again. Scorpio. Oh my god. We are getting some weird items. Well, not weird, uh, but we're, we're getting... I don't... We're getting good items in a weird way. Uh, I don't... I'm not opposed to any of these items, I just feel like... The way this is going, we're gonna end up being really, like, either OP... Or we're gonna be really OP, but just because I suck, we're gonna fucking lose stuff. Holy crap, like, this is amazing. Like, this is a good run. There's no doubt about it. That time I did press the on accident, not gonna lie. Three, six, nine. So we have ten parts. Fuck! That was my bad, I wasn't paying attention to the shadow. Poison tears are pretty cool. Like, we're already whittling down the health, but then add a poison effect on top of that. And we are doing great for damage. Well, not great, but we could be doing better, but we're perfectly fine with the way we're going. Well, that was stupid of me. I should really just stop eating pills that I find that on the ground. At some point, I do think that, like, maybe I shouldn't eat pills until I get the PhD item. But then again, the PhD item is not a guarantee item. 
so and it's like, well, fuck, what do I do? Also, isn't that a famine? So if we go to mom's room now, we'll only be missing one heart. Then again, we have the yum heart. But I'm gonna wait till after we get past the room where I'm probably I'm gonna take stupid damage to take, uh, get there, um, which is here. Ah. Fucking hell! Felt like that was gonna happen. Second time we fucking come across this dude. You know. There were two hearts short uh, on Long Jim. Oh shit, three hands? Two hands? One hand? And two mom. So this might be good. Like uh, the thing is, when it comes to mom's like room, I don't, I don't know the pattern of like its ears very well. So when it comes to the bosses and stuff down there, or like the main boss of mom, I don't know the patterns of the attacks. And I feel like that's gonna be my downfall. Of course, I've beaten that like part before. It's just that whenever I do, I, it's usually because I get really OP items. And we get another booster pack, which I'm not. Eh. Get two of hearts. That'd be nice. Two of spades. The tower. Don't know what the tower does, but two of spades is a double item. Two of clubs definitely a two item. The tower. Fuck my life. Oh, that happened. Alright, next floor. I just realized the lo these runs take long enough just for the basic like parts, but now I'm realizing like, wow, they get even longer. Also, do I have... I feel like there's like a fog filter or something that I don't have on. Oh my god, this music. Fucking great. I, oh, oh, well, no. Uh, hold on. Control? Okay. We don't want you. We want petrified poop. And girdling. Alright. Um, I think I pressed you again. Um, so, right now, the only problem we might be having is that um, there is no item rooms in the womb. So, for the health up days, I'm done with that, probably. Um, so, hopefully, that means when boss rooms come around, we're gonna need some damage up. Because right now, that's really the only thing we need. But at the same time, I wouldn't mind picking up some hearts, like that. Uh, I don't, don't know if, what if, what, if I'm thinking of the right thing, but in the original Binding of Isaac, couldn't you accidentally bomb hearts? Oh, it's been so long since I played the original Isaac. Oh my god, why are you teasing me? Why you tis me? Um, so we do have a little bit more of the floor to explore. Uh, we only need one more room to charge up our uh, yum heart, so I guess we're gonna go do that. Uh, we're not gonna pick up. We're, we're not going to pick up range down. Uh, also, uh, so far that's the only place I could have thought of them being. Fuck. 
That's all dandy. Oh, hi. Oh. Okay, so... This thing can't be there. These are nice. Oh, I forgot. They go through fucking walls. Great. the hell? Okay. Oh boy, that shit. Well, this sucks. That's over with. Bob? No? What the hell? <laughs> fucking I hate my life. I fucking hate it. There. Heart? Money. Well, we could go to the boss. I feel like this is a horrible mistake. At least we have the placenta. pulled it off once where I can go through there without taking damage, but I definitely can't pull it off again. And now as much as I would actually... What does this do? Well, at least it wasn't you are wizard. <laughs> that would have sucked. Oh my god. Holy shit, this is gonna be like an hour long run. I don't know if I should release this all in one part same time, I would feel bad if I just split this up into two parts or so because it's too long. Uh, I, f I mean, I knew for a fact when I was getting into this that there would be long ass Isaac runs. Um, okay, this dude's not too bad. He's definitely one of the easier bosses we could have gotten on this floor. Though, I should pay more attention to what I'm destroying and shooting. Because though he is easy to keep track of, um, it's definitely something... Getting all, like, the smallest forms is definitely not something you'd want to do. And another extra heart. Are you fucking kidding me? some point. Like this. <laughs> they really just don't like me. Um, I'm gonna try and go for mm, the mom room as soon as possible. Also, bedroom? No. Ooh. Three friend guys. What the hell is that? Chewed pen? It's leaking. Um, the key. even though we haven't come across a lot of poop in the game, I'm gonna keep the petrified poop. Oh no, no! Don't like surprises. Okay, so 
so far, uh, we might be able to get through Mom if we are good. I mean, the room kind of worked out in our favor, so... Also, this doesn't seem right. Really? You shit me? That was a perfect spot. Uh, what about up here? The key. Um, sure, we'll work with this dude. Because if I think correctly, you're... Yo, I'm okay with that. I'm not okay with that. So we have two fly items. I think you need five to become the fly, so... Also, I need to find out where mom is, because that's... At least it was an easier boss. Hey. And here? And we can use another fully on my so let's do that. So if I worked in our favor. I mean, we have a lot of keys, so I'm not really worried about wasting them at this point. Also, another splitting enemy. Like, if we didn't have all these tiers, I would be probably holding back on how many of those we took down at once, but at the same time, I wasn't really worried because he was just. He, he's pretty easy. Taking a lot of stupid damage, and that's that's usually where my downfall is. Uh, oh, we found mom. We have a good amount of hearts, and there's no item rooms to be going to. Let's do it. Holy shit, this music. don't think we're gonna win. We took a lot of damage just from that one eye, so... Oh no, we're not gonna... <laughs> we're gonna lose! <laughs> no, after all that... you guys enjoyed the run next time we're probably good I, I think i might stick with an isaac run next time i don't know um comment down below what you thought of that run i thought it was going pretty well and i honestly thought we were going to win in the end uh, i think our downfall honestly was that we didn't have a lot of attack up throughout that whole thing in fact we got an attack down at some point which is never good um so hit that like button hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this in the future um if you have any suggestions for other games you'd like to see me play on this channel let me know um, i don't have the most powerful pc so you won't be seeing stuff like gta 5 or um far cry 4 you know i'll be playing whatever i can uh so i like i can play bully i can play psychonauts i could uh, do a lot of stuff i maybe would like to do psychonauts let's play that is a great game. I'm getting sidetracked. Um, either way, thank you all. Have a great day. And until next time, bye-bye.